Alright. Are you live? We are. Are we live? We're live. 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 Right. Oh, yeah, there you are. Hey. Hey, Siri bot. Hi, Shayna. How are you? Yep. Here you go. Hello. The headless dancer. Oh. Lot of I are sitting here. We're like, ooh, ooh, Shayna. Ooh. Hitting the wall, man. Hitting the wall. <clears throat> Shayna says she's tired. Wait, you didn't sleep last night. Yeah. How's Chloe what doing today? Get our Sheena time in real quick. I know. Um, yeah, we kind of scarfed down a bunch of food. They were done. They were done and cleaned up. They were we done were, and we cleaned were... up, but they saved us. Like, I had some eggs and potatoes, and then we had a snack of uh, some cheese and bread with some mustard. We, so, had, plenty, we had plenty yeah. to eat. I basically had breakfast and lunch. and I had a little, uh, they had a friend, sitting. somebody made a... Um, a French toast using some special, what is, they made it with using, um, like French bread, French bread, and yeah, they just used French bread, and then they made a, a corned beef hash, yeah, from Was the corned beef from last night, did you like it, I'm not a big corned beef fan, you know, I like corned beef hash when it's crispy and shredded, you know, yeah. like, but it was good, bunch of party talk, yeah. no, I mean, everyone had basically left, they left, they literally left us, they, they got sick of waiting for us, so they left, which was fine. Sorry, Belita, if you're watching. <laughs> Which was fine. Thank you for... Now, normally we start, they start a little later, but I just don't think there were that many people that were going to come anyway. Um, so it was a smaller group. Because it wasn't really brunch, it was truly breakfast. They were done by brunch time. Yeah, Sheena, I mean, it's either made, hash is made a certain way, right? And so... Oh, Chloe's crying won't settle. Yeah, that's that's... Does this happen sometimes, or is this just like... Hey, that guy. Like, not... That guy on Not chat. typical. Hi, that guy. Pardon you. Mom made it so good, I've never even tried. She's going downhill. I was wondering. I, Cliff, we talked a little bit last uh, the other night on um, uh, gaming. And yeah. Cliff just was just expressing his his love for Chloe and yeah yeah it's gonna be hard yeah but man she's lived a long life and you definitely have made her very happy yeah what she has there? she just has these moments of joy and you can yeah. see it you what, know what you're doing right now I mean those, those, some yeah, of it. those moments are you know yeah so I know it's a struggle love but I got to do a quick engine room um, thing here, but yeah, lock this out so we can start the engines and okay. Okay. It's just tough. Been over a year. Yeah. And that is a long time. I mean, she's, she is hanging on and that's just a testament to how well she's cared for yeah okay all right mama all right ready i know so for anybody who hasn't seen this is where you get into the engine room <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and Jessie's a good one to walk you through some of that too. Just it sounds like she's she's dealt with that on like a lot with the people animal thing. Water oil. And the loss and stuff. So she'll Water be a great she'll be a great a great help, I'm sure. All right, Shayna. Sorry, I had have had had Head head. 
Cat head and Sheena shirt. <laughs> The legend. Thanks for that farm fresh Jesse shout out. Seriously, you guys, if you don't follow her, need to go do that. She's just good juju, mental health coach, but also just awesome person. And a great Fortnite player from what I hear. Yeah, Shane is like, don't mess up that shirt. <laughs> oh nope, I got you. We are? Uh-oh. How far full of water? Do you want to put them somewhere so they can see? So my um, my, my bilge that I put in. Here. My automatic bilge? Yeah. Did it's, not work. Oh, that's not good. Glad we came out this weekend. Nope, and normally, that's the first thing I do is look. Here. But look at this, guys. So, can, can you see the water right here? See that? Yeah, rut row is right. Yeah, we got a lot of water in the boat. A lot of water. So here's the bilge here. Here's the manual switch. The breaker over here was tripped. Right here, there's a breaker that I put a breaker in, <clears throat> but I put that new bilge, um, that new bilge sensor, uh, what do they call it? A bilge switch in there, and it's underneath the water, and it didn't work. So I need to <clears throat> figure this out, but I'm going to hold this over. That sucks, man. Well, let me see if I can figure out what happened. Maybe my um, connection came apart. It's working. Huh? It's working. What happened? What did you just do? I just, I just did this a couple of times. It started working. You have a bad switch. Bad well, switch, maybe. Or bad connection. Bad to connection. The... Remember, I said I was going to solder it. So, anyway, um, that's not good, guys. So it's pumping out. Maybe it's not pumping. Maybe that's the issue. I need to go outside and see if it's actually pumping water out. Okay. Could be the, um, because that uses a rubber impeller too. Yeah. But it should be shooting water on the side of the boat. If you, if you were to take them out right here, I'll take them. Let me take you guys. Because if that runs with no water going through it, it'll 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 overheat and trip the breaker. But it should be. Oh, there you go. No, it's pumping it out. That's water that shouldn't be in the boat, guys. Yep. Hi, Knight. How's it going? So, and all of that water is coming in through the um, through the uh, through the propeller shafts. This is where that water comes in to the boat. They leak, which I'm not worried about. Which is AC units, a pump into the hull, and the shower. Which we haven't none of those things other than yeah. the propeller shafts. Is so, good. just the propeller shafts are. It's time to tighten them up a little bit. But it's a fine thing. They're always going to leak a little bit. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Well, and we've been, it's been like two weeks since we've been out here. Three. Three. So that's three weeks worth of water. Yeah. So I got to. We do need to make sure that. I got to get a good solution for that. Here we go. Let me go in there. Okay. <clears throat>
up this morning. We did. A few things went, so. Uh, it'll overheat. Uh, I think what happened was it ran, it overheated, it, um, it tripped the brake. Yeah, Knight asked if it ran dry. Yeah, it did. It must have. <clears throat> that would cause that to happen. So why would it run dry? I don't know. The the uh, like float the floats forty dollar float, float switch should have float switch got stuck again. I mean we've had that problem. No, it's before. a sealed one. It's not supposed to get stuck now. I don't know why. I can't know why. I know that when they get over full, they sometimes don't work. But it should have never gotten over full. <laughs> I'm not reading that, Clab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Knight said switch itself could be defective. Huh? Switch itself could be defective. I mean, it was, I know it was brand new, but. Can't point that at my ass, please. I'm not, Tom. You gotta trust me here. It's just your. I have trauma over the, the, the butt cam count. I'm not. Okay. When I when I am in a situation to control it. Hi, Kendall. Welcome back. God, I love. We've seen a bunch of you this weekend, and I love it. There we go, Kendall. Some sort of a um, like a little bag, like a little trash bag or something. Right. I don't know if we have any. I don't know if we have any. What? Trash bags? Yeah. A, a small, like a. Yeah. Corner bag. Yeah. You do. The Walgreens bag. Thank you. Okay. For all you motorheads. There you go. You want to tell them what you're up to here? I just checked the coolant in whatever engine this one is over here, starboard. Coolant looks good. Oil's a little bit low. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Um, just because I like it to run. That's yeah, good. Saying it's good. We're good. It's exactly dead center. I don't know. I can't see. But there's two marks there. Yeah. Yep. Low. Top. I run it dead center. I know. So, we're good. I can show it to you. I changed it last fall. I'm going to change it again if you remember right. I, I was late at changing it the time before. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to... We want to get 100 hours on it since the last oil change. And I'm going to change it again. And we, we just use cheap oil to do that. Um, but that looks great. 
this right here is the oil cooler. I'm gonna I'm gonna order all the pieces for this one more time. I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it one more time. And then we're gonna flush this engine all the way. We're gonna flush it seven times or whatever we have to, and see if we can't figure out where that um, that little oil leak is. So okay, just that's a big job. That's I need to we need to be offline for a couple weeks to do that. Yeah. But right now we don't have time. So. I feel good taking it out today. I'm not worried, Laura. Okay. Uh, this this valve here yeah. has black in there. Yeah. That means that that has that has failed. That's a that's a risk. So I need to, that's a fuel pressure gauge. Yeah. And and it's oil is leaked it's, into it's, it. It's fuel. It's oh. diesel fuel. It's compromised. Can so you? I need, uh, I need to change that one. I was going to say, can you cap it off? And both of them are the same way. They both have. I could. I could take that off, put a plug in there. That needs to go on the list. Okay. You want me to put it on the list? Yeah, I'll I wish put it on the list right a, um, now. Uh, number off of this gauge. Um, did we start? We did we start a one note, or you just want me to add it to the other we list? We haven't started the one note. All right. Let me add it to the notes then. We need fuel. Pressure. Hold on, let me look at boat. Fuel pressure gauges. Two of them. Fuel. The bilge pump is not overheating right now. Pressure gauges times two. Okay. Yeah, and if I have my, is my phone right there? Is the, my phone happen yeah. to be right there? I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of it and get a part number off of it. Okay. Hi, Cappy. One hour to freedom. <laughs> nice. What are you gonna to do tonight when you get home? If we get done early enough, we might um we might hop on game. can't get any part numbers off of that. And hi, me fan. Good to see you again, too. Hi, Jean. Hello. Just, I would just take a picture of it. You can probably take it to the Marine store and just... Well, it needs to say what pressure. Hi, Janet. Um, that that uh, gauge needs to be replaced. It's not like a you know make it or break it for our trip today, but just um, it's a it, it it's a critical piece that needs to be fixed. So the other one on the other engine is is just like it. I they're mean, old. They're I'm old. sure the sure the gas gets worn out or something. I replaced all the other ones except for those. I replaced all the air gauges and stuff. Yeah. I also need air filters. You want me to put air filters? I need two air filters. Okay. Air filter times two. And I'm taking a picture of that right now. Okay. Hi, Jackson. Okay, me fan. Have a nice walk. How's your weekend going, Jackson? What'd you do? Hey, Kahira. Hello, yeah. love. Oil's good on port. Water's good on port. Coolant is good on port.
Okay. And we, uh... It should shut off any second on its own. There was a lot of water in the bilge. Um, that shouldn't have been there, so, um... Yeah, that, that was not good. I mean, I'm glad we came out, and I'm glad that we're checking it, because, um, there was a lot of water in there. It looks like the bilge pump switch didn't engage properly, so... Oh, nice, Jackson. Went on vacation. Where did you go, love? Hi, Dicker. What is good with you today? How's your day been? Or actually, is it? It's more. Is it morning now? Probably morning. Always try to figure it out. Oh, it's evening, 7 p.m. Okay. I kind of see what's going on now. The switch floats. Yeah. It's not heavy enough. It's not heavy enough? Yeah. Oh, so it just stays on? Yeah. Does it need to be repositioned? Hmm? Does it need to be repositioned? <laughs> need to fight your back pain. Oh, Dicker, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Yeah, Tom Tom was struggling with that um, this week a little bit, too. Yesterday, 14-kilometer yeah. walk. Wow. Holy camoly. That's brutal. That's a lot. I shoot for 50 kilometers a week. Yeah, that's a lot, man. Crocuses are in full bloom. Yay! got picks. Oh, that's cool, yeah, that's Janet. The issue. That's That's the issue. It's not shutting off. So so the float's too the float's too light. The float is too floaty. Not shutting off. Yeah, they are beautiful. Crocuses are so beautiful. Didn't shut off. So what does that mean? Hi, Dixie. Welcome back. What does that mean? I need to do a little bit of research on that. Let's see why. Well, I was going to say, if it's a float, then... Well, it's a sensor on the outside of the float that detects the water. And it takes... You've got to be on both. But we'll check it when we get back in, okay? Okay. I'm going to turn around, so... Okay, I got you. All right, I need my ears. I need my ears. And you're going to start the engines. We can either mute them, or you can take them with you. Oh. Hey! Just Welcome aboard. You ghettos! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. How you doing today? Oh, the, sorry. You're going to start the engine. I'm going to make sure everything's good. Okay. I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to go out and unhook everything, come back in before we... Okay, your phone's up there. Yeah. I'm going to do multiple checks on this, okay? Okay, so you just want me to start it yeah. both engines right start now or both? First, yeah. You want port port first? Um, which one starts harder? Uh, usually port. Yeah, okay. one, of the, one of the batteries looks like it's low, so it'll be interesting to see. All right, I'll start port first. Okay. All right, guys, so set you up here. I got my ears on, so you just go ahead. I'm clear. Okay. Oh, port. wasn't bad. You ready for starboard?
see right now. These are old, old diesels. So let me see if I can show you here. You can see the smoke. Look at all that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. When it warms up, it'll it'll stop, but you can see. Anyway. Yeah, it is it's it's pretty smooth. Uh Everything out of the way. Huh? Yeah. Everything out of the way down there. Yeah, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and start undoing everything outside. Okay. All right. We're we're that ready. Yeah. Okay. You get the jacket. Let me put you guys over here so you can sort of get a see what the view, what kind of view we can we can get for you here as we're going out. I think the little bit of the larger view because we're turning and you, it's really kind of hard to see we'll give you a little bit of the interior view and then once we uh, once we get out I'll have Tom uh, hand you to me and we'll put you out front all right here we go Um, and I'm going to go ahead and kill the electric okay, while yep. I'm going out there. Yeah, and I need to... Um, no, you got to hand me the ports. Huh? you got to hand me the ports. Yeah, I will. I just need... I want to put them on um, regular Wi-Fi. Yeah, we're going to change the internet right now. This way. So you're looking at my face as I'm like scrunching my face into the. Let's put you on aminal. What 
is oh when people walk we've got this squeaky piece of the dock I gotta find it because that is way way crazy and not digging it at all whenever anybody walks on the docks. So definitely need to find out what's squeaking. Yeah, it's it's like a, a cross beam or something on the dock. You know, it's all metal on metal holding everything yeah. together. So it's when when people walk on it, it just, it moves. All right, why don't you get at the helm here? Something, something absolutely needs to be done. <laughs> you get where you want to be. I have two lines to take off.
is releasing the lines. sign. What? Let them know that's the, the, the sign for okay.
this too, the rudder indicator yeah. too? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, yeah. that's, that the, that's the dash. Oh. Got it. All right. She'll blast some horn too. We got geese. You want to show them the geese? We got geese over there. Yeah, you can take them off there. There's the geese. So yeah, okay. You can kind of see through the trees right now. These haven't, uh, they're just starting to get their buds, their blossoms for their leaves. There's a heron right there, look at that. It's a blue heron. There he goes. I wouldn't trust those buoys, Laura. What? I wouldn't trust those buoys. I've never seen them that far over. I know, I thought, well, they've dredged. So, huh? we, were, we were about five feet. Yeah, so. that's good, that's good. So, so like, they took them out over there, didn't they? Yeah. I know that John and, um, his wife are out, so. Yeah. I'm gonna do the horn. Don't be alarmed. Six point. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Cliff. I was gonna ask if that was Cliff. I've already did one too. Yeah, I heard. I'll take you back outside. I'm gonna take him back outside for a second, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and take the, uh, just put the bag over your shoulder, just because that's got the... Um, the Wi-Fi. Well, yeah, you can stick the Wi-Fi in there. If you want Do I need the bag? bag? No, but you can't hear the sound alerts. Oh, or just Or just take the... Yeah. We're fine. I'm only going to be out here a couple minutes. Just till we get out. Okay. All right. Here we go. Got to get these fixed. Another thing for the list. Canvas. Oh. You know, it's a little chilly, guys. Not bad. You guys got to hear that breeze? It's kind of a blustery spring day.
I do love the Carpe Diem flag. It's kind of cool, isn't it? With the lightning bolt. Pretty awesome. That's upriver, so that's toward downtown. That would be toward downtown. And this is toward Dar's favorite country music artist and Clab's favorite house is coming up. Ketchup Mustard House. This is where we took the uh, golf cart. We were on the other side of these houses yesterday. That's where the, um, the golf cart was on the other side of those houses. No, it's not brackish, it's um, it's straight up, you know, comes from Kentucky. It's the Cumberland River. It's, um, it's fresh water. It is fresh water. Yeah, it is fresh water. Starts up at Lake Cumberland in Kentucky and then catches water all, all the way down here. So. Yeah, and hey, colorblind man. Let me get this, sorry. Welcome into chat. <coughs> I wonder if he'll need a mat. Probably not, but. Check one two, check one two. Go cats, you said the magic word Kentucky. <laughs> How fast can we go? About right here. Well, so this is about this is about ten miles an hour. Um we can probably I mean we can go, depending if we're going upstream or downstream, of course. You know, helps you out a little bit. Um we you we can go twenty in this boat. We shouldn't go 20 no, it's because not that just is a, a bit too much. It puts too much stress on the engine. I don't think it's going to hold up if we do that for too long. No. So she likes to go like a good, our RPMs on this, about 1,200 RPMs is probably pretty good. 12 to 14. Yep. Is a good sweet spot where you're getting um, some lubrication of everything and it gets a nice temperature. Good running speed, which depending on the current, um, will put us, probably with no current, about 10 miles an hour. So we have some new people in here, so I saw some new names. Yeah. Let me, um, let me get those for you. Must have, must have lube, Shana. I'm yes. Gonna, I'm gonna do a gauge check real quick. So our engines are both at about 180, 170, which is right where we need to be. Um, engine oil, pressure, anywhere between 40 and 40 and 60 is what I like to see. And then I just have 60 on one and 40 on the other, which we could stop and restart the engines and they would probably be totally fine. Um, a little bit big difference there today. Yeah. Yeah, here and here. Yeah, so what I'd like you to do, Laura, is just go ahead and throttle back first. We'll see how this one actually rides higher. That's what I'm going to say. Is it, is it the gauge? Could be. Put it in for the neutral. Go ahead. It's fine. No, it's just... I mean, is it, is, is it stuck? No, because it went up. Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. But see how that one didn't... Yeah, that one. So here. Yeah. It's a, if it's any gauges, that one, that's not... Yeah. Okay. So no, that looks like it's... So okay. what what is what is better like low low? Oh, 
Uh, right, what? Yeah, right in that 60 is, 40 to 60 is great. So this one is low. Yeah, but that, that What does that mean? Well, we thought of what had to do with the, um, we, thought it had to, we thought it was an issue last time. Right, but I'm wondering, like, what is it, if, if the, if if the oil, oil pressure is low, that means does that mean we have a leak somewhere? your engine's bad, yeah. But we don't have, you would see a drop. So just watch it. Okay. Other option is to stop and restart, but that's why we need to change oil again. So. Do you want me to stop and restart it? Yeah. Just I might as well. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Okay. See if it'll reset. And this one. Oh, both of them. Yeah. Okay. You start them? Alright. Go ahead. No, it's just riding low. Alright, cool. Okay. And I checked it. I mean, it could, could be that some... So engine temp, 180, 180 to 190 on the engine, engine oil pressure. I like this 40 to 40 to 60, but I like it right at the 40 to 50 range, PSI. Batteries are both at, one's at 12.2 volts, one's at 13, which is fine. And I'll write all this down after an hour. Okay. Gear oil is the rear end oil, they're both pretty similar and then the air charge, the turbo's hardly even kicked in. So we're good. Cool. 3,181 hours on these engines, so time for a rebuild. Hi, Tipsy. Tipsy says we need a dinghy with a stock cooler in tow. Yeah. <laughs> so. I bet you do. It's been 70 to 80 here until today. Kendall said that it's coming back Wednesday. It dropped a lot. Um, yeah. From last week, we were in the 70s, and we were lucky to get to 60 today. So. And I think it's, what'd you say, it's supposed to get back, like, freezing again? I'm looking right now. Yeah, we're supposed to have freezing overnight. Yeah. Lovable says they're saying a hot summer here. Yeah. What? 60 tomorrow. Uh, oh, wow. 42 tonight, 60 tomorrow, 32 mon overnight Monday, 27 over overnight Tuesday. I have 46 on Monday. And we have, and we're going to have the end. Wow, on Tuesday, we're at a low of 27 and a high of 58. Yeah. Weird. And then in the 60s by Friday. Yeah, Dixie said there's still snow there. This should be our last cold week right now. This 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 next week should be the last cold week that we have. Yeah. And that's not even too bad because we're 60s during the day. And somewhere, someone from somewhere warmer, please Dixie nap me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know the trees and stuff are starting to bloom here. So what happens? I mean, we're gonna get three days of freezing weather. All these buds are in danger of. Yep. We had that happen. It actually killed some trees it last, last year. year it killed the whole, all the evergreens. A lot of the evergreens, the cedars. Yeah. Because they they started pollinating too early. And then the sap in the branch is frozen. It's windy today. Really windy. It is. This is cool. It's 35 here with snow still on the ground. This is bullshit. <laughs> Dixie said. We have snow here in the mountains. <clears throat> We're going to do... Um, are we going to do music today? Um, we can. If we do that, then there's 
no VOD, but that's fine too. I wouldn't mind having, if we're going to do music, I wouldn't mind, uh, what? yeah, we could do Moobot, but I can um, just restart the stream. Yeah. So that way we, we get at least a little bit of voting. Um, but I do want to get, because if I don't publish the VOD, people go to my stream to kind of see what we do, and they don't see any voting. <laughs> so I just, I want to have some voting, voting stuff. I don't even know where the speakers are. Okay. Hey, colorblind. No, we're not. No, we're not fishing. Um, we were talking earlier about wanting to. Neither one of us are, are fisher people, really. But I've been watching a number of fishing streams, and it's kind of made me just want to try. Just catch and release. I don't. I don't eat fish, but it could be fun. We've got a lot of a lot of different kinds of fish here in the Cumberland River, so. over a hundred in South Texas last week? What? <laughs> what? It's so weird. They said this morning, cover all plants that are outside. I never stick my tomatoes in the pot until after Mother's Day. Yeah, that's smart. Things have been getting very unpredictable for sure. So we're good until July of 24? Yeah. We should get rid of all those old ones in there. We don't need those in there. Yeah. I need to renew my captain's license too. It's up in December of this year, so I need to do that paperwork as well. If it's a hundred here, I'm moving to Alaska. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't do well. I don't really do well at the extremes. And I really don't mind, you know, cold, as long as I can put layers on and be comfortable. Or, like, take stuff off and be comfortable. <laughs> but, you know, when it doesn't matter how much you put on or take off, you're just going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't like it. requirements for the captain's license you need about it was like I think it was something like 960 hours of voting time um, and then you have to pass a, a test um, and you can there's a couple of tests that you can you can get if you just want to do uh, like small commercial uh, passenger stuff um, like if you wanted to do a, a small fishing charter with a, with a max of six paying customers, they call it a six pack. And the test is has less content in it. Um, you still do need to have seat time though. Yep. You know, you can be real quick. Uh, oh, you may here. have to do it. What? Oh. There is no charger in here. Yeah, there is. You gotta plug that stripper. Oh. Um, so, this is a good one that burnt, burnt up on the car. Yeah. Now I've got my 100 ton master, which I've just wanted to do that just so I could um, be able to carry more than six passengers and, you know, possibly charter a larger vessel with more passengers on it. So I went ahead and got the 100 ton master, which is uh, more content for the class. So you just gotta learn stuff and then take a test. Is it not working? Yeah, it's charging. Well, maybe it is. Does voting time include drinking cocktails at the dock? <laughs> No, unfortunately, uh, Sussy, it does not, or I would have enough for about 10 captain's licenses, probably. Hey, CJ Dewey, thank you for the follow. CJ Dewey just followed. Welcome aboard. Appreciate that follow. How are you doing today?
Yeah, they usually say the time on a boat also has to be related to the operation of the boat. So, you know, either doing something capable of driving, driving, um, being a deckhand, you know, whatever it is, that counts as time. Give them a life jacket. <laughs> yeah, right. The youngest licensed captain is five years old? Dude. That's barely enough time to get the, uh, the sea hours in. <laughs> counts where you have your your hours so for example all of my hours are in inland waters you know lakes and rivers so I don't have any time on ocean craft so that would be if I wanted to get my I've got my inland master captain's license for a hundred ton vessel um, if I wanted to do ocean charters I would have to like get 900 I think to upgrade an inland I think I only need like a couple hundred to upgrade my inland to an ocean um, but that's a couple hundred hours it's a lot he only became the youngest five or six years ago <laughs> right. cows whoa here see the cows Oh, and we're also coming up on, for anybody who hasn't seen it, Dar could give this. Chair 50, I asked my dad why he decided to buy a boat. He said there was a sale. Hyrule <laughs> underscore vigilante cheered 50 bits. Thank you, Hero, for the 50 bits and the awesome dad joke. That was a good one. <laughs> No clap, we already have one. So we are coming up on, um, you know, we are in Nashville. And, uh, and actually, I can put on the location. Why don't I do that? You guys can see. <coughs> so go ahead, exclamation point location. You'll be able to see where we are in the world, guys. And um, here is this property coming up here with the fence which on the other side of the fence is actually um, an old grass airport called Oakley Field. And it belonged, it was established, um, and that property belonged to Alan Jackson a bunch of years ago. And he sold it and Kenny Chesney bought it. And then he sold it. And I don't know, some other country music person bought it, but I don't know their name. And then, um, but Alan Jackson moved away and then came back and just built, we'll show you uh, Alan Jackson's little single family home. It's just down the river here a little bit. He must have liked this area so much he, he moved back. Um, Cheryl Crow also has a house on this left bank right here. So Somebody's having a party over there. We're gonna go by both of them and you get a chance to see. Huh? Whoa, careful. Rita and Billy need a new friend. <laughs> oh yeah, what's going on over there? Barbecue in the field. Oh yeah, look. They have the whole barbecue set up and everything. They may have been fishing. Clap. Yeah, so this is Alan Jackson's old home. For those of you who don't know who Alan Jackson is. Google him. He's an easy Google. Pretty famous country music singer. I don't know if 
he did he write his own songs? Was he a songwriter too, or just yeah. a singer? Yeah. Yeah. So this look, this is different. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. They made a sloping yard. Yeah. We don't know who lives there. I thought it was part of Allen. I it thought is. it was part of that property. It is. it is part of that. Oh, okay. It's like a guest house. <laughs> or, or a few of them. It looks like you could have a few. There's several back in there. It's a compound. Yeah. It's really cool. Hey, what it do be like. He wrote all of his music. Yeah, 65 now. Yeah, and he's got like a um, a nervous system disorder, so this is just kicking his butt. So we heard that he is not doing, not really doing much. That used to be Cheryl Crow's cabin. Yeah, this used to be Cheryl. This uh, dark colored is Cheryl Crow's cabin. I think it used to be. Used to be. What she sell it? I think so. We'll find out. Because up until like last year, she was still there. No. She had her stuff, although it does look the toys are gone. Here, Tom, go ahead and show them the fishing boat. Some some folks like the fishing boats. This is our friend's property that we own. Uh, we are in Nashville, Tennessee. What it do be like? Now look at the, so he's added on. Mm -hmm. Well, his primary job is he's a deck builder. Look at that dock. Yeah. So that's from Rock Harbor, that dock. Oh, did he it's take it of, from Rock Harbor? one of those that were over on that. Oh. Huh. Look what he did. He built a beautiful gazebo. He yeah. Yep. Now that's cool. So this guy is like a hippie. He is awesome. And he is awesome. And um, he used to have a camper sitting right there. So I guess maybe he's off on a trip or something. But he brings his camper out here and he's got himself this really sweet setup. Yes, Cumberland River. Yeah, and if you guys want to know, um, if you do exclamation point location and click that link, it'll show you exactly where we are. It was cool. Too expensive. I'm one and done for there. Yeah. Now it really is. And it, especially if you're coming to do the tourist thing, it is very expensive. It's getting very expensive to live here too. You know, Nashville, when we first moved here was like, you know, kind of a small town feel, um, but still had all of the amenities of a larger city. And now we've just got all of the got the larger city thing and all the problems of a larger city it's just getting so big the infrastructure needs work we're outgrowing ourselves quickly and it's it's frustrating a lot of the older families you know where um, are being pushed out to the outskirts and big business and really rich people are buying up all the land and so Nashville is changing a lot Speaking of rich people, <laughs> here's, here comes Alan Jackson's place. This is his new single family home that was recently just finished. The white one on the left, the, the one in the trees on the right was the previous single family home. And I guess it wasn't big enough. So you get, it's just massive. So he's got, there are two homes on this property. And then he's got an amazing, like, um, Right next to the water, we'll get we'll get close so y'all can see um, some like larger shelters that just have comfy furniture. It would be just such a cool place. He's had some parties there, you know, where they make it all beautiful with lights and stuff. So yeah, that house is just massive. <laughs>
a, this is a beautiful area with the hills and the trees. See how green it gets? It's starting to get green already, which it's early for that. Pull it down a little bit. We'll take our time going through here so I don't wake these docks. There's a little lake on the land too. Yeah, you can probably see that from the map, Clap. I don't know where it is, but it doesn't surprise me. There's like a valley right there. A couple of valleys where they may have dammed it up. I'm sure there's some streams that run through here. Oh, it does look like it. I think his daughter lives in the, in the other house. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's all family. Like, like, look at the look at the pathway leading up to it. Doesn't that just look look like a cool place to walk? And then here's this little little relaxing area by the water. Just looks really nice. I wish him the best. He's been a he's been a really strong. Uh, Nashville icon. Well, he's actually been a supporter of our marina. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes, he, he, he's, he's a. One of his is his is his boat still at our marina? One of them. He used to be still one of them. Yeah, I know, but there was his captain was still coming to our marina, taking care of he a boat called Sea Dog. He might still have a slip there to yeah. winterize his boats. Yeah. You know, he has that wooden one too that might be there. He paid to do the parking lot in our marina. Yeah. That was him. Anyway, yeah, real avid boater, um, really nice guy. Can we ding dong ditches, please? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, you can show the huh? show the fisher people. We've got fisher people on here. Sometimes I like to see their setup. Yeah, Dicker says he'll take the old house. All right, here we go. So we're gonna we're headed toward Gower Island. Those of you who have taken a ride with us before know it's one of our favorite places to go when we're just out. One of these a days of we'll um, we'll get out of the uh, just. Well, we'll go back to Clarksville. Yeah, that's enough. That's a, I mean, it's always <laughs> a fun trip. It would be awesome if we go, went to Clarksville and then take you guys around the town. Maybe in May. Maybe the we can town do that. is beautiful. We can do that in May. Yeah. We're gonna have, you know what? Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We have to have a one, at least one weekend a month voting. Yeah. But we're gonna be between the house, you know, selling the house and um, redoing the new land. That's gonna take up a lot of our streaming weekends. Should be and good. for those of you who don't know, we we have full time jobs, yeah. so uh, we usually only stream on. Saturday and Sunday, let's and the, then um, let's give the spiel. You got a bunch. Of, you got a bunch of new people in here. So and then yeah. after work. Oh, hi. So hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> Hold on. Um, so we stream after work um, on Wednesday. We have games with chat where we catch up with everybody and just kind of hang out. Um, Shayna, so, you need to get your ass out here and help us. Usually <laughs> in the in the evening. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we're either doing the boat, which has been this weekend. We also are redoing a schoolie, school bus, turning that into an RV. It's a little bit on hold right now. Yeah. Cash um, flow issues. <laughs> well, yeah, because we're now we're buying land to put the bus on because we need to sell the house and we're going to move on to the boat. So there's a whole lot of things that are in transition right now. Here, we'll make it. We'll make it easy. So. I. Laura decided that she wanted a boat, so she bought a boat. That's true. That's before we had a plan of that we were going to live on the boat. So then Laura said, hey, I really want to retire early. And we all agreed it's a good idea for her to retire early. So last year, about a year ago, we enacted this, this project to get Laura to the point, get us to a point that Laura can not have to have a full-time job. And that has involved 
three or four different variations of um, strategic um, downsizing. So <clears throat> what we did is we accidentally bought a bus on an auction a, almost a year ago today. Right, Shana? About a year ago, which we really didn't need that project anyway. Then we decided that we were going to move out of our house and move on to the boat and rent the house. And then when we started moving out of the house, we realized, hmm, we really need a place to put the bus. That it's Tom's fault. We really need a place to put the bus. So we took all of you with us for three weekends and looked at 25 different properties and we finally found one, which we have under contract. It's five and a half acres, 35, 40 minutes away. And that's where the bus and the off-grid cabin will be. And so we'll move on to the boat. We'll rehab the off-grid cabin. And then we also have rentals in Florida. So, and then the bus. And so between all of these tiny living things, the goal is to pay cash for as much as we can. And um, basically be, hopefully be happy, joyous and free. So, is that pretty pointed? Yeah. Okay. So we have projects. We do. Which I love every one of them. Every I love one. I love these um <laughs> I love these rock formations here. Absolutely yeah. love them. And yeah, and, and yeah, as Laura said, we have full time jobs. So, yeah, it's you, a lot. You get us on the weekends. And, you know, but streaming and and you guys help us stay on track. Now, I will also say it was you all's idea to buy land. So... It's probably Darren's fault. Probably is. I think Darren said, why would you pay for a storage unit? Or Clab or Shana? All and you Loki guys. And all, they all, all of them. It was pretty, there was pretty much consensus that we should buy some land to put the bus on. Clab, I can't even afford to go on a ride on one of those rockets. <laughs> it's a million, a million or, one of those. It's a million or two million dollars just to have a ride on it. <laughs> I don't even think my GoFundMe would cover yep. that. Shana, she's right. Everybody, when we went out, because we took, we could have chat to look at a storage unit. Um, so that we could start putting some of the, just a few of the things um, that we can't store on the boat. There's not just not enough room. Tools, um, some different types of clothes, our camping gear, things like that that we need. Um, but it was just going to be a 10 by 10. Well, we went looking for storage units and everybody was like, and then you've got to look at where you're going to put the bus. Like an RV storage or something? Well, you can't work on it there, so where are you going to work on it? There were just all kinds of questions chat was asking that made it really clear that they said we should not buy a storage unit. <laughs> You're right, Shana, that it didn't solve the, it did Isn't not solve the, the problem with the bus parking. Yeah. We would have had to rent. I did get that six month deal done at the, the builder place, which I think I told you guys about on Friday. So excited about that. Yeah. Well, it, it will, and we will have a place uh, to keep the bus, to work on the bus. Um, it's just going to, we have to pay to have you know a driveway put in things like that so it's just money but once it's established then we will and it it'll be set we'll have it forever we can work on whatever you know whether it be the bus now with if we have an rv if, later who knows if we do this initial if we do this initial development correctly we're set this is the last piece of this is it of the puzzle yeah yep now you got a two for plus the other potentials. It really is exciting. And we just, it was kind of like, okay, now we've got this other cost though. And that's where we're just trying to, you know, move money around, um, knowing that we're, we're gonna monetize the house some way. Uh, we're talking with our realtor about whether we should rent or sell it. But the fact that we've got this certain amount of debt, especially with buying this property as well, it is a little concerning with me quitting my job just because we need to make sure we can make our monthly payments, you know. We've been doing budgets. We the budget looks pretty good right now. Yeah. So I hope I hope we'll be okay. I mean I can I can always yeah, Tom yeah, he said it, no more buying shit. <laughs> exactly. We're done. We are done. We are um, done. 
and we are we have been downsizing and like eliminating our expenses too yeah. like we don't have cable anymore we do pay for internet obviously we need internet for streaming and such but we don't um, but we don't pay for cable I gotta renew the only couple of things that I have to do is I have to renew my I'm gonna have to renew my I don't want to let my handyman insurance lapse because that I can make that I can make that back on one job. Yeah. You know. Here, this is pretty. But I don't want to be in a situation where I don't have. Hey, thanks for the follow. Hey. Harry underscore light just followed. Welcome aboard. Hi, Harry. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. These rock formations obviously are some of my favorite, especially by the river. I think they're just really pretty. How's it going, Harry? Hope you're having a good weekend. So, yeah, got it going on going to be fine. We'll continue to downsize, continue to eliminate expenses, and only take on what what kind of serves to support um, the traveling and the adventuring, things like that. So it's going to be good. So what's going on this week? Uh, I'm going to take a load out of the, I'm going to pay a load on the house to Goodwill. That's what I think. Okay. Oh, you, you were going to do your broadcasting equipment? Yeah, I'm going to start doing that. But I'm going to start... I would just pick one thing. We're going to start getting stuff out. I'm going to just take a load out. Just make progress. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just yeah. saying, if, yeah. if you just say this one thing, and then what night are we going to do it, then, yeah. you know, then we'll just do it. Wednesday, we do games with chat. That's an important night. We won't step on that lamp. Yeah, Dicker's like broadcast equipment? Where? <laughs> there you go, Dicker. You'll want to tune in for that one. We'll stream. Maybe we'll stream that one. There's, there's, we've got a few folks who like your, like your broadcasting equipment, Tom. Yeah, he's got a whole room full of shit. <laughs> a lot of it's shit. So I got to get rid of that one. I'm not going to get rid of all the cables now. I was just going to get rid of it, but now that we're going to have moving out, yeah, um, a lot of that stuff can be used on 12 volt systems. We've got to fish your boats over here. Fish it next to the railroad tracks. Dicker, I'll show you. I'll show you guys on stream. We'll we'll uh, we'll 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 do the Papa Tom stream this week. That's what I'll do. Tuesday night. There you go. Tuesday night, we'll do a. Dicker's like, I really need to come over and see that room full of shit. <laughs> what time? What time are you available, Dicker, to do a? I know that you and Darren both want to see it, so it's so late when I get home. Maybe you need to do like a morning. You just take a morning and. I can't take Tuesday morning off, but I could bust out. I could do it like that. What are we? Five hours different, Dicker. There's a lot of stuff in there. We're going to talk about mics and boards and what else? I'm going to get rid of all but one kit for myself. I have a broadcast board that I'm keeping, an Air One, an Air One broadcast console, and I'm keeping one QSC mixer, Touch Mix 8. I have three other ones I'm getting rid of. <coughs> that little mixing board that we used last night, I'm keeping for the Yacht Club speakers and keep them. Dicker said seven or eight hours difference, I think. Okay. He said we'll switch to summertime next weekend. So we'll need, we really need to do a a morning. Yeah, it's 2.15 in Tennessee now. Okay, so yeah, we're six. And it's 8.15 p.m. So we're six hours. Is. Yeah. I could do a three o'clock stream, which would be a nine o'clock stream your time. 
We gotta go see our kids on Thursday, though. Yeah, we do. Maybe Friday. Maybe Friday we do. Maybe this coming Friday. Yeah. Because we gotta work on the house again this next weekend. Yeah. So Friday night I'll do a broadcast stream. Perfect. Okay. We can do that. I'll do a Friday night broadcast stream and we'll do, we'll do the broadcast. You're gonna do it on your your channel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. If I do that, I need to get, is it, how does it work for that? Uh, Shana said we won't be gaming next week on vacation. It's going to be so nice for you, Shana. I want pictures. Dicker's running excitedly in circles. Okay. <laughs> I'll prep one. I'll prep one night this week and get it get it sorted so it'll be easy to go through. I can always put my stream on and just say go see Papa Tom. All content over at Papa Tom's. Route everybody your way, or I could do like a boring old game. I could do like Hogwarts. I could play by myself. You could. Maybe Stormy and Tipsy would be on. But anyway, I could do some New World, or I could do Ark. If maybe if uh, Dixie is on, I could start. I could start some Ark with her. Whatever. But I could do something. Yeah. And then I could just let people know that you are could you put on me down, as Could well. you put me down in the corner? Oh, I could. You could clap stream and just put me down in the corner. I really wouldn't. I talk, could. I wouldn't talk to you. Yeah. Put you in the corner. Yeah, multi-stream. Yeah, crazy broadcast nerds over at Tom's. That's right. We'll just go go over there. Nobody really likes the Shane. I don't like Shana and T really like my streams. Yeah, they do. It doesn't hurt my feelings, Shana. I know it's different. I'm not very good at it. So you want to go around the back yeah. toward this way? want to go this way toward the other way. Do you want to go this way around or you want to go around? No, let's go crazy. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Just do not cut that, do not cut that um, pencil off on the far end. You hit it that one time. You yeah, go, I know. Pass and come back. So do you want? I want to come in against it, yeah. Do you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise? I want to go clockwise. You want to go clockwise, okay. Yeah. Fan says you do fine, Tom. She's going to, Shana. Shana says I don't mind. <laughs> Flip a pitch, Captain. <laughs> you don't mind being in the corner or you don't mind the streams? Tom's in the corner. Over here. So it's our friend's property, and we can. Yeah. Ride. Do you want to take them out? So he told me we could bring the bus out here to camp, Laura. Oh, good. Okay. So this is beautiful. So right on the top of that hill, right there, is our friend owns that hill, um, and so said we could come and camp out here. That would be fun. That would. Can you imagine? Having the bus parked up there. I think we can just pull it with the maybe overlook. We'll pull it all the way down here to the pad. What you mean here? No, to the right. See, there's a pad right there. Where? No. Where? Right there where the green thing is. I know. Sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, right next to the water. Yeah. That'd be cool. That would be scary with a train coming by though. Yeah. Is there also a place for a tent? Dicker's asking. Yeah. Absolutely. There's always room for a tent. Always. Look at that boat house that got wrecked. Oh yeah, here. I'm trying to, yeah. here, can you, yeah. can you show them? Yep. Just take them around. I'm having trouble driving and doing it at the same time. Sure. 
good. There's a camper set up up there. See it? There's a camper set up up there. stay out of it, then I'm afraid that's just like full of snakes. <laughs> snakes yeah, this right there? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Gower Island. There's really nothing on it. There's cars on it. They said there's there's um, old cars on it. How'd they get the cars out there? There used to be a bridge? There may have been a land bridge before. Huh. But yeah, they said there's old cars on it and there used to be a couple old tracks in there. Huh. pretty swampy. Yeah, it does. Cappy, freedom, yes! <laughs> Welcome to your weekend, Cappy. Oh, I Congrats. Show, I'm going to show you guys this beautiful farm over here. Welcome in, love. Yeah, it's beautiful. nothing better than camping next to the fire or the water build a fire and fish all night yeah that sounds awesome camping by the water just the sound you know that when everything is quiet and you're just laying down like hearing the water is just so beautiful there you go thank you clap for that it was settled in the late 18th century is the third the third river island between the Old Hickory Lock and Dam and the Cheatham Dam, and it spans 16 acres. It was settled by James Russell and Abel Gower, two North Carolinians, in the late 18th century. I'll be darned. <laughs> Can you see Bob Evans? Is he down on the farm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lori, right. look right there. You can't see it on the film, but see that little building? The white trim? No. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I it's do. Falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. Like a shed that slid down the side. It looks like the. It looks like the. It's eroding, though. Oh, so, it does. It definitely does. Like, see, guys, the shore. It just looks like it's eroding. I mean, I'm sure it is. It's a river. It's what it does. It's got water on both sides. So this is the island right here. We're gonna go on the other side of it between uh, between the island and the shore. It's just a, a small waterway, but it's actually very deep. It's over 20 feet deep on the other side. So I don't know how this got to be so high. It just must have, I don't know. I don't know how this got to be so high, you know? Like how that formed where it's 20 feet on the other side and 20 feet on this side. Yeah. Almost 30 feet on this side. Like, how was that even created? Must have been deep, must have been deep ravines when they, when they flooded it. Yeah. Head of it. Well, this is a river. They yeah. didn't flood it, it just goes. Well, no, they put the dam by, by Cheatham. Oh, true, and yeah. And then it raised the water level. I guess so, yeah, true. <clears throat> yeah, it just must have been a high hill. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, me fan. They say that, yeah, there's really good catfish in this river. Big ones. We can do that one. We can do that one Sunday morning. We can leave early in the morning. And what? Run down to um, Riverview. Riverview for catfish lunch. Take a crew. Yeah. Oh, you mean on the boat? Yeah. 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 Be cool. Well, we talked about doing. What did maybe Jim will want to go on that one? We're gonna be halfway between our new place and. Because Jim kind of wanted to go to Ashland yeah. City. This gonna be halfway between. 
Because we could actually spend the night. He's got friends there. He asked if we could have a party. I said, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He could have a party. We'll take him to Ashland City. He can invite his friends out. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, fishing stream? I don't know. I don't know. You know, because I don't think I can get into baiting a hook. I can do it. I remember I used to take the fish off when my dad, you know, we went fishing with my dad. We lived on a lake. Um, and I remember taking fish off of a hook. But... I never wanted to put the worms on as it was like, you know, he would thread them on there, like right through the middle of their bodies. And it just seems so barbaric to me. And my whole purpose was to free the fish as gently as I could. My dad would rip the hook out of their mouths and I'm just like this, just so I was very gentle with the poor fish. Fish are friends. Fish are friends. <laughs> All right. I'd go down. Um, I know, I'm going to go down a little bit though. Sure. I mean, when we come out, we come out like this, you know what I mean? So I think I just cut it too close before. definitely made a wider, and it's 20, okay. Definitely made a wider path, but that was... She dropped to seven foot like in two seconds. Yeah. They really should have a buoy there, you know? I'm quite sure why they don't. You know? You know? Huh? How would you know until you it's hit it? It's common sense. For, I mean, for you oh, and I. Oh, give me a break. For you and I. It's not common sense. You can be within two feet of the side of the river and have it yeah, be but 20 that's, feet. That's, that's, the, where the, that's where the debris field is from the current. So as the water rushes by and it lifts, you know what I mean? That's where it drops. Shore, guys. It's a cool little, it's a cool little inlet Pretty here. Are you sure that guy and Gail on the shoreline were doing something? They look like they got busted. Back like there in the lawn, in the trees. Oh. <laughs> Hi, that guy. When I was a boy, I used to fish for food. Brother ate everything in the house. Seriously? I didn't realize herons went that far inland. Oh, look. Wilson. Oh, yeah. There's a ball. There's a ball on the shore. Soccer ball. Yeah, we've got tons of them. 
And ours are blue. Blue herons are the ones that we usually see. Well, we didn't recover it, but that was a Wilson. Should probably change that one to eight Wilsons have been seen on stream. Although, I guess we probably recovered some that we didn't count, so we'll just leave it. Can't get to that one. Yeah, a little bit close to shore. It was in the trees. We're still behind, probably. <laughs> do rock, paper, scissors. I wonder how you do rock, paper, scissors on stream. There's a heron right there. Tom, can you get him, honey? You see him? Sitting there's over there's there. a blue heron right there. Tom, it's right there. He's a pretty one. Let's see if he takes off. Look at him looking. <laughs> Look at him looking at us. Better. The most fitting animal. That's a good one, Dicker. That's like a uh, flamingo. <laughs> they do have those long stick like legs. There's turtles over here in the log. Let me see if I can get them or I'll hop in it. Oh. Oh, there's a big one on the top. I see it. See the big one on the top right there? He isn't going to move. He's lazy. Oh, he might. He's going to go in. <laughs> Sorry, you totally messed up their their vibe here. And all through here, it's 21 feet right here. It's close to the shore. Yeah, that's nice. This island over here looks. This looks a nice area. Oh, there's right a here. house inside there. Look, see? There's a. Only place you've seen flamingos is Mexico. We have them at, and at the zoo. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I haven't ever seen flamingos like in the wild though. Only at the zoo. Oh, at a resort with a pool, they're bougie? Yeah. They can't hear you, Tom. The mic's in here with me. Well, I said it might be nice to explore that island before oh. it's all overgrown again. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could uh, anchor on the river yeah. and bring the kayaks over. Yeah, we just gotta figure out who, who owns it so we can get permission. Yeah. Which you can just look at a tax map, GIS map, you know? I'm wondering if anybody can actually own it just because it's in the middle of the river. You know? Because you really can't own something in the river. The water is not ownable. It's an island, so yeah, you can... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, it'd be interesting. 
Dicker said they're pink because of their food. Yes, I read that because we do have like sometimes at the zoo when you see them, there are some white ones. There's a big culvert right there. We went in there on jet skis one time, I thought. I think we approached it. Or kayaks it. or something. Yeah, we approached it. Yeah, I don't think we wanted it into No, it, it was. a road right there Tom there's a road right next to a car just went by there's a did you know that the road yeah, right yeah. next to the railroad track yeah, it's called like um, something station because this used to be a train station right here oh is that Newsome station maybe Newsom station road yeah oh. uh -huh. there's our local Google mapper you can tell us what road that is right next to the train tracks well you should be able to look at location exclamation point location Oh, there's a heron flying right in front of us. Oh, Clap said River Trace. Okay. I know I've seen the sign for it when we went to Ashland City. Yeah. And you can see, I, I usually point this out, but I think it's really cool. Um, but this right here, this build, this one here used to be a train station. Yeah, you can see where it looks like it was a train platform, and it absolutely was. And so they, they kept it as such and uh, just built a house right next to it. But the railroad track runs right there. It's kind of cool. Guys, we need to name our property. We need to do a whole. Yep. I thought we started talking about that. Yeah. We didn't. I don't think we wrote anything down. We need to have people put put their suggestions in Discord. But I'm looking at all these rock retaining walls like this. Yeah. Yeah, for our for the property, for the property? like just kind of yeah. take. Just terrace it. Yeah. That'd be cool. Get a little track hoe and All right, here we go. And then here's the and then here's the really pretty farm Tom was talking about too. It's over there. One of idyllic. It's really pretty. <laughs> Dar. Darren votes for Uncle Tom's cabin. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's stop and restart the um, the the VOD. We're Shana gonna... said that's a place near my hometown, literally a cabin bar in the mountains. Wow, yeah. that sounds amazing. Yeah, we're gonna do some. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna um, end. We're just gonna we're not gonna end the stream. I'm just gonna um, reboot. There's the uh, that broken down thing on the shoreline. We're just gonna reboot so that we can uh, do Moobot. And uh, you guys can do some music requests. Okay? For the way back. Sound like a good idea? Anybody want to do music? Want to do the request or you want me to just put on a playlist? Okay. And, and how do we do it? How do we play it? What? How do you, you play it from your phone? Um... Yeah, I need to connect mine. I need to connect my phone to okay. the speaker. So why don't you? If why don't you drive? Okay. And or you can connect my phone to the drive. speaker. I can drive. Okay. Bit. It'll be easier. All right. Instead of me asking you questions, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, no, I got chat. All right, okay. guys. I can stop and restart the stream though, right? Shana said, "I'm fine with playlist." Okay. 
Do others want request or playlist? Clap said request. Okay, request. Shannon says playlist. Dar probably got some good requests too. Well, I want to hear uh, Warrant. Cherry. Okay, so you have some requests. I well. want to hear Warrant, Cherry Pie, and Uncle Tom's Cabin. Oh, all right. Okay, let me, let me, okay, let me do this. So just take me a second. Darn, driving. Darn has already added stuff to Mubot. I know. She's it, good. She'll, 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 she'll get some things in there. And then other folks can follow suit. Um, where's, where's, which one is this? Let's Did see. you see it? JBL. It's not the Bud Light one. Other devices. Did you connect it to yours to already? My, to mine? No. Here, I can do this so I can make it work. Here, I know, I know how to, I know what I meant. Here. JBL Black. <laughs> Connected. Okay, Darren says, um, Move out is ready, la la carpe diem, once you hit play. Okay. Thanks, love. Stand by, chat. The captain's getting it. All right, I need to stop the stream real quick before you hit play, right? Huh? And yeah, just just a second. Don't okay. worry. Just let me do that. Okay. Just a minute. this computer click here to authorize via SMS request SMS there we go see that little cabin right there guys that's about what hopefully someday we have one that size on our new property it's a little one about 400 square feet, that'd be perfect to live our life in. Mubot really wants to make sure you're who you are. Wow. Wow! Do a one bedroom with a loft, that would be amazing to live there into our retirement ages. Perfect size. Yeah, that is a good size. Yep. That could go on that little piece of land. 13 grand. I priced it today. Really? That's it? To build it. We'll build it on stream. So amazing. Okay, guys, we're gonna, um, we're going to just stop and restart the stream so we can have the first VOD uh, for boating and then um, do the rest of the trip um, at least until we get to, I guess we don't need video of docking. We had video of undocking. So, all right, here we go. Going to restart. Hold on to your neighbor's hand. Don't be afraid. We'll be right back. <laughs> 